Anyone else want to tell of God's goodness? Tina, I think Tina. We have such a wide room, I feel like I'm overlooking people. Tina, and then I promise I'm going to look this direction over here. Hi. I want to praise the Lord. I had lost my first husband almost three years ago to cancer. He died, which was my life. The Lord, I prayed the Lord to help out. Well, I started going to this church. Kevin baptized me, put me, helped me through it. Well, he brought me through um, another man in my life. I'm remarried to another good man, just like my first husband was, which I thought I'd never be able to find. Then back in January, I just about lost my dad. We thought we was going to lose him. I prayed, we all prayed. The Lord brought him through and let, him keep, let us keep him. Then while I was down there, I got a phone call from my boss, the manager at work, and says, well, when you come back, you go to the paint line. I lost my well job, I lost, so I got moved to the paint line, which is a job I don't particularly care about. But the Lord has really worked for me. At least I still have a job. And I have got a good man to help me pull me through my hard times, which December the 1st will be three years, my, the passing of my husband. And I want to thank the church, and I want to thank the people that's in my Sunday school, everybody in my Sunday school. I love them. And I really appreciate Kevin helping me through my hard times. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Tina. In Psalm 78, 4, we read this. We will not hide these truths from our children. We will tell the next generation about the glorious deeds of the Lord, about His power and His mighty wonders. I promise I'd look this direction next. Anyone over here want to share? Anyone? I, okay, I've got two hands up. Amber, and then we'll come right back to you. I'm awkward, so okay. Um, oh, a I'm few sorry. years yeah. ago, okay, sorry. Okay, a few years ago, um, my dad was diagnosed um, with kidney failure, and his health was kind of just dissipating um, in front of us and um, it was becoming discouraging. And I brought it up to the choir that I needed prayer for it um, at a choir meeting uh, my freshman year. And um, this summer on the 4th of July, he received a kidney donate, donor um, just from some, I think, cadaver that popped up around Lexington and um, got a brand new kidney. So if anybody out there does need a donor, know that there are miracles that the Lord provides like that. That was it. Praise God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hello, my name is Jonathan Davis, and I'm a student at Berea College. This past summer, I went to Senegal, West Africa, to teach English classes for about nine weeks. And God moved tremendously. He guided my steps, and he just showed me that Senegal was the place for me to go. And when I got there, I realized why. Um, within my host family that I was staying with in all, it was about nine of us, and out of everyone, one student in particular hadn't been to school for two years, and he was intelligent beyond belief. He spoke fluent English, fluent French just about, and another couple later languages. Um, me and him became very close friends throughout the experience, and he expressed a desire to go back to school, and he asked me how could I help. And I didn't know how I could help, but I prayed and God moved, and in the end, we raised $600 to send him to school for two years. Praise God. That's awesome, Jonathan. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Russell, right back here, or Don Scott, right there. You are. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Homo Mishuremi. I go by Homo. I'm a student at Beria College. I want to give thanks to God for being here with me, but I'm going to start, start by singing a song because I really do appreciate what God has done for me. I'm not a good singer, I would say, but just um, listen. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. 
that is my song every day. I came into the US fall 2008 to study. I felt so prepared, I felt so ready for this, but um, I didn't know how all the changes would work and all that. I started off right and um, I've had challenges along the line, but I really want to thank God because through everything, he has stood by me, he has been present. It's, it feels so good to know that, oh, you are not going through your challenges alone, but every waking morning, you see God in your life, you see God by your side, you see God in everything you do. I think that deserves returning the glory to him because if not for him, I would have crashed. But I thank him, and I thank the people he has used to bless me, my instructors, my old parents here, Don and Gil Buchanan. I guess they must have gone home after the um, Sunday school. I want to thank my roommate. She's sitting right here beside me. I want to thank my friends. I want to thank Pastor Kelvin. Everyone, even your smiles alone, your all, your handshake and everything is meant a lot. And I return God, all the glory to God for putting you all around me. Thank you. Amen. Thanks to God. Amen. Thank you. Anyone else? We've got Kathy right here. Hi, I'm Kathy Dunn, and um, I've been a member here for about two years, which the Lord brought me here and my husband here. And um, I've had lots of opportunities in this church in the last month or so, and one of them was, is the mission trip that um, this church is, some of us are going on. and. I knew that this was what God wanted me to do, but financially, I knew it was going to be a burden and uh, beyond what the team is doing to raise money. So I have prayed and prayed that if this was God's will, that he helped provide a way for me financially. And Friday, I was offered a temporary position at Berea Hospital for three months, which is going to pay my way for this mission trip. So that is a, that's a big blessing in my life right now. And praise I praise God. God for that. Amen. 